Remember this? This was a meteoroid entering the atmosphere over a town in Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013. It entered the atmosphere traveling almost 70,000 kilometers an hour, and then, at an altitude of around 30 kilometers, it exploded. Surprising as it may seem, until around 2017, the scientific community didn't really understand how these explosions work. But now we know, and in a few minutes you'll know too. So when a meteoroid enters the atmosphere, it's usually going extremely fast. As mentioned, the meteoroid airburst I just showed you had a max speed of around Mach 55. At that speed, the air in front of the meteoroid can't get out of the way fast enough, leading to a huge buildup of pressure near its leading face, up to 100 times that of atmospheric pressure at sea level. Furthermore, as the air gets compressed, it heats up, reaching thousands of degrees. But as observed by the authors of this paper, that's not enough to cause the meteoroid to detonate. Rather, it would just cause it to compress into a hot pancake. And strangely, the small fragments that made it to the ground were far too strong to break even under that extreme pressure. They would need a pressure of at least 30 times the ram pressure present to break. So there's the mystery. How does this happen? The solution, they realized, was that most rocky meteoroids are not particularly strong or solid. They're less like solid granite and more like sandstone. In fact, they have a porosity varying between 5 and 25%. And that has two major implications. First, the individual granules making up the meteoroid are much stronger than the glue holding them together. This means that it's much easier to break it into pieces than to completely destroy the whole thing. But secondly, and more importantly, high porosity means that the extremely high pressure air can make its way into the voids between the granules. As the ram pressure builds, it will eventually reach a critical point where the air is finally able to force its way into the solid stone. When it does that, the 20% of the meteoroid that used to just be vacuum suddenly becomes filled with extremely high pressure air. And now the air has access to much higher surface area upon which to apply its pressure, but it's now all located inside the meteoroid. So the high pressure air tries to expand, and like what happens when we frack for oil, the stone cracks. Except unlike fracking, where water is used, which doesn't change size much with pressure, air can actually change its volume significantly and thus effectively transfer all of its energy. So the meteoroid catastrophically fractures, and then the air, now pushing outward against effectively a clump of rubble, causes it to explode, like a pipe bomb. As the fragments rapidly slow down because their mass is so much smaller, almost all of the orbital energy is dissipated into the atmosphere in a fraction of a second. That is, we have ourselves an explosion with a yield of several hundred kilotons of TNT. That's a few dozen Hiroshima nukes. And now you know.